given all the changes and given the, the positive momentum going into this week, did you expect more out of your team in this game? Uh, I expect a little bit more offensively, honestly. Uh, you know, we, uh, early in the game, we, we held them three field goals and a punt uh, when they went at their back, uh, tried to get the, the win in the second quarter, which we did. Uh, we, were in, we were in the football game. There, there were some very key drives, uh, two turnovers, three turnovers, actually. Um, we got laid hit on the quarterback. We got him off the field another time. Those are those are the individual situations that happen when you look at you, know, you look at our where, where we've been up to this point. Uh, you can look. You can always point to about three or four possessions in games that we've we've been in that have completely flipped the game, and and the game got away from us. And we have to have a, we have to find a way to win those possessions. Uh, stay on the field offensively. Not give them a first down with with penalties. Those types of things. Um, that. That in context of the entire game, where that where they're happening, where they're occurring, um, is is allowing the game to slip away from us and not get the game in the fourth quarter. You know, with a chance to win it. Where does the process go from here, Kent, in terms of continuing to build off of whatever Coach Jones and Coach uh, Molly? Well, doing? Coach, you know, Coach Jones is is going to have a lot more input, obviously, and uh, you know, he hasn't been here very long, and and you know, we'll, we'll evaluate we'll evaluate it. we'll evaluate that we're going to evaluate what we're doing, we'll evaluate our personnel. We'll start there, and, and who we're asking to do what, and uh, and then if we need to make changes, we will. A couple of those turnover calls looked, I, I, I don't want to say, and the roughing the passer call too. I mean, yeah. are th those are calls that um, had you been able to, I mean, the, the, the turnovers you wouldn't be able to challenge, but the roughing the passer under the old rules you would have potentially been able well, to I, challenge. I, I yeah, job, so. and gotten that run, gotten that yeah. call. Were you concerned about the, some of the calls? I know you don't want to get in trouble with it, but but they were they were yeah. turnover calls. No, right? you know you know what I, I, I would feel better you know, uh, make a comment about that when we play better. Uh, you know, r right now it's incumbent upon us to you know, we're there's three or four series in a game. If you look at the two Edmonton games, there's three or four series in, in those games uh, that are making the difference right now and. That means we're not playing a complete football game. I know, I know the score got away from us here, but if you look at those moments in the game that we're talking about, uh, that can be the difference in, in flipping the game. And so, you know, the calls are going to be the calls, right? We, everybody, every, everybody's going to have calls go against them, and, and for them, uh, you know, you just hope that over the course of 18 weeks that it evens out, and it typically does. And, uh, but it, it's, 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 our, it's our job to overcome those things. How much more challenging, Ken, is it going to be to, to get past those, those, um, that mental fertility if you those things are happening three or four times a game. Did you say? Well, when you you know it's 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 going to take some some strong leadership uh, for sure in that room, and uh, uh, guys understanding the mature the mature ones understanding you know what it means to to uh, you know continue to get up and get to work and and to really be self aware and the and the evaluation of, of where each individual is at each coach is at um, right now uh, in. What you're doing, right? And are you improving? And and are you getting better? I, I, I told the team, you know, everybody needs to be, you know, needs to be honest and take a real honest look about their play. And we need to be honest with them about what we're asking them to do as, as coaches. Uh, and and not, you know, not not put our head in the sand. And I tell you what, and and it's not, we're not going to quit. And that that's not going to happen. Next man up uh, philosophy always, but the loss of uh, Davis and uh, I guess Laurent in the first half that could be a tough one. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, listen, it's uh, um, uh, injuries happen. Uh, they happen to everybody. They happen to every team. Uh, we've never been a team that has ever made an excuse uh, and hid behind injuries, and we're, we're not going to start now. But losing your starting all-star halfback before the game. He practiced all three days this week and to lose him to food poisoning. I mean, at some point oh, you have to... We end up having to play a guy that didn't take any reps. I get it. Right. But it's... Uh, <laughs> and then you lost you Teddy know, I, too, you know, right? I feel, I, first of all, I feel horrible for Chop because he's worked his butt off to get back. You know, to get food, food poisoning the day of the game, I mean, that's just horrible luck. You know, obviously somebody's got a voodoo doll up there, you know, picking, you know, putting pin pricks in us, uh, you know, for, for that to happen. I mean, I've never heard of such a thing, but uh, uh, things happen. You know, life happens, right? And uh, uh, it's not always going to, you know, it's not always going to be rosy. And I just really feel bad for Chop, and I felt bad for, for the defensive guys and having to scramble, you know, an hour before the game. And 
um, you know, and figure it out. But you know, that happens, right? And, and, and we need to be a good enough football team to overcome those things. You've made some changes along your offensive line this week. Were you mm -hmm. happy with the way they played generally? Uh, I, want, I want to withhold that. I understand why you bring up the, the question. And I really want to evaluate the film, but uh, we're, we're going to take a hard look at it. I know a few weeks ago you said that you were confident in Caleros, but as you continue to evaluate and this mm -hmm. offense evolves under Jim Jones, how what do you need to see from your starting quarterback? Uh, again, I want to be careful in, in a public forum because uh, because I might say something and then turn around tomorrow and regret that I said it after I watched the film. Honestly, uh, I've, I've been there before. Uh, you know, we need better play out of that position and. Uh, and I think June can. I think June can bring that. I really do. You know, we, we need to give him some time to, you know, to continue to work with that group, and and uh, and I think we'll see the fruits of that. You know, down, down, uh, here hopefully soon. Uh, right now, um, you know, this is a team game. Right? It, we're not playing tennis or golf out there, and you need execution from everybody. The guys up front, uh, the receivers holding on to the football. And the quarterback throwing to the right guy at the right time because he's right coverage and he throws the ball accurately and not turning the football over in any position, you know, on the field. Uh, those are some tenets of football that hold true from week to week. And uh, uh, but we'll, we'll we'll take a, we'll take a real hard look at every position at this point. Ken, you still have concerns about the defense giving up uh, not coming off the field in second when they're in second. Yeah, you know, well, we could help the defense though. I mean, like I said, when 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 they get uh, three the home three field goals and, and a punt. You know, we get back in the game. Uh, we drop a we drop a two point conversion. Um, uh, they beat us pretty bad on the second two point conversion. I mean, we're we're within. We get the, we get both those two point conversions. It's a six point game. Uh, we get the second two point conversion. It's an eight point game. Uh, and then then we then we stumble. Right. We have three or four series where we stumble, uh, and and that has to change. And I think I think June's impact will 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 help that. Thanks, coach. Okay. Thanks.